Hey, hey, everybody. This is Mel Morris, your Tarot Life Planner, helping you connect within to plan the life you're meant for. And this is our five card weekly spread. Today, if you're watching this on Sunday, happy Halloween, blessed Samhain. This is going to cover all this week. So Feliz Dia de los Muertos, happy new moon in Scorpio later in the week. All in all, this energy of the week before I even pull the cards is a little dark and moody. So be prepared this week to um, really connect with your emotions a bit more. And don't be surprised if you're feeling a little overly emotional this week before we even pull the cards. I'll layer that in once we go. So um, I've been shuffling. I'm going to switch this over and uh, see what the cards have to say this week. Okay, so you can see I brought with me today my lovely Samhain goddess. I have a bunch of these little goddesses all over the place. I love them. I will um, have to see if I can find, if it's okay if I share a link with everyone. So let's give one last little shuffle here. And we'll get started. So first for our spiritual connection card, we have the lover's card. Next, for health and happiness, we have the four of swords. Next for love and relationship, we have the lovely Queen of Wands. Next for business and career, we have the Six of Swords. And overall for this week, we have the Knight of Cups. Beautiful, so let's see what this is all about. Okay, so starting with our spiritual connection card, we have here the lovers. And what's interesting about the lovers card is it's a major arcana card or our big life lessons. And this is the first card in those big life lessons where we start thinking about who we are in relation to other people. So this isn't just about relationships. This is also about us getting to know who we are when it comes to connecting beyond ourselves. So this week, think about how you're engaging with people. If there are things that maybe you want to change, you want to do more or less of, maybe you really haven't been connecting in ways that feel fulfilling to you. And from a spiritual connection, you might need more of that mojo or energy that you get when you are around other people that will help to elevate how you're feeling spiritual, spiritually this week. Okay, next we have the four of swords for our health and happiness card. And we've seen this card a few times in the last few weeks. And again, this card feels like trust to me this week. I think it's important for each of us to think about how we're communicating with other people. And there may be instances where, where you're feeling like you can't trust yourself to say what needs to be said. And it's, it's, kind of depressing. It's kind of sad for you that you're not expressing yourself a bit more and you're really looking for that. So when we think about, you know, fours and stability, think about ways that you can communicate, connect with other people um, that feel really good, feel really authentic to you and see how you can do more of that because people are waiting to hear from you and you're going to feel amazing about it when you get things out and it's really going to be beneficial for others. So communicate in a way that feels great to you. Next for our uh, love and relationship, we've got the queen of wands and, um, wands is that energy, you know, that fiery energy 
And the queens are really about communication and the ways that we are communicating and creating community. So when you think about your love and relationship this week, think more proactive way. Start to take some stronger actions around building building a we is what I want to say how you can really start to create more balance. This, you know, queen of wands is really very assured in the ways that she wants to move forward. And so there's something within your love and or relationships that is ready to move forward, is ready to take some actions. And it's really going to be important for you this week to take those actions that are inclusive of the people that you want to move forward with you. Next for our business and career, we have the six of swords. It feels like this week you might be really spending more time thinking about how you want to move forward. There's maybe been this, I'm going to dramatically here say journey, but there may be some things that have been going on at work that have been kind of a roller coaster and that you really have lost sight of where you want to be heading. And if you're, if you're really moving in the direction that you want to be moving and I feel like the six of swords is reminding you to take a little pause and think about that journey. Think about does your plan for the future play into what you're doing every day, right? Are you actually moving yourself forward in the way that you had intended or have you just kind of blindly been moving and not really taking stock of where you're going? Now, this is also going to be the um, the new moon in Scorpio when this card comes up for Thursday. And that's that really deep, like getting into why things are happening and this um, idea of transformation. And it's going to be important that you think about setting these new intentions at, on the new moon, setting your intentions to really go deeper into understanding um, how you need to proceed in your business in career. So uh, just a little side note to use that beautiful energy of this new moon in Scorpio. For overall card, we have the Knight of Cups and, you know, cups are about our emotions and knights are that energy of coming in to fix things, coming in to save things, coming in to move things forward. And because I think this week is going to be a little heavy, there's going to be a lot of energy around us about change and transformation now that we're in this Scorpio cycle. And so I feel like this Knight of Cups showing up here again, which feels like a very joyful kind of happy energy is really reminding us that even when things seem a little weird and changing and you don't really know how you want to proceed, that you have to let your emotions lead. You have to let your emotions be that saving energy that's going to push you through um, beyond this transformation. There is this beautiful happiness, this kind of playful energy, if you allow it to come in, that will really kind of get you over those hurdles. So no matter what's coming up, no matter what changes are coming through that might feel really big and heavy, it's okay. It's not going to last forever. And you have to allow really, really, really now in this Scorpio cycle, you have to allow your emotions to happen, to have an opportunity, to have a space to really move you forward. I hope that was helpful for you this beautiful week. Remember we're in Scorpio season, so everything is going to be a bit more, I don't know why moody is the word that keeps coming up, but 
it's going to be a time where you're going to start feeling that pull to really change things, to really go deeper and connect within and start to really understand what needs to happen, what needs to be released and how you need to start moving forward. So really sit with that this week. Think about these changes that are coming up. Know that these changes are coming up. So don't let it throw you off guard and uh, you're ready for it. You can do anything. So let me know what you think about this. And regardless of what comes up, just remember that you are freaking amazing. So stay magical, y'all.